This is Megan Rapino, the most hated player in FC24 with 77,000 dislikes on Footbin. In this video, I'll be giving her and a collection of the most disliked cards on the entire game challenges to decide whether the hate is deserved. If they pass the challenge, I'll be giving them a thumbs up and I want everyone watching to as well. If they fail the challenge, they'll be receiving a thumbs down and I'll be discarding them from my club. If you want cheap and safe FC coins so you can buy crazy players in Ultimate Team, go to my coin sponsor MMOEXP.com, choose your platform and the amount of coins you want and apply the coupon code DAVS at checkout for 5% off. So we're starting off with Team of the Year Mary Earps who has 2,000 dislikes. Most goalkeepers are well over 6 foot 2, whereas Mary Earps is just 5 foot 8, which to put that in perspective is 2 inches taller than Chris MD. Because of her height, most people consider Team of the Year Mary Earps the worst team of the year of all time. So I'll be taking her on in 5 1v1s while using her fellow Team of the Year Lionel Messi to see whether height matters for a goalkeeper in Ultimate Team. If she can save just one shot, she'll pass the test and I'll leave a good review on her page. And it didn't start well. First of all, I tried a finesse shot, she stood no chance. Then I tried a chip shot, the ultimate test of her height. Again, she did not stand a chance. Then a power shot, she didn't even come close. I thought I'd try and give her a chance with a volley and she did not get anywhere near it. And then I moved on to the final 1v1, I was gonna try and dribble around her. Which of course I did with ease, Mary Earps is not a good goalkeeper, on to the next player. Goodbye 250,000 coins. Next up is Winter Wild Cards Thibaut Courtois who has 2,300 dislikes. Mostly because people felt it was too early in the game to release a goalkeeper that can play as a striker, which is fair enough. But a lot of people were complaining about one thing. He is 6'6 six six with the aerial playstyle plus, which should make him insane at headers. But for some reason, EA gave him just 49 heading accuracy. The smallest card in the entire game has heading accuracy higher than that. So to test him, I first took three corners aiming at Golazzo Drogba, a play with both aerial plus and 99 heading accuracy, and I scored two out of three. Now what I had to do to pass the challenge was to match that score with Courtois, as it would prove that heading accuracy doesn't matter and so I wouldn't have to discard it. Here we go, can I match Drogba's score? Oh, I thought that was going in for a second, but I now have to score both of the remaining attempts. Here we go. That is way better, he absolutely dominated that defender there. He needs to score one more goal to pass the test. His final attempt, otherwise I have to discard him. Easy, Courtois is the first player to pass their test. He gets a thumbs up, which is exactly what you should be doing on this video right now if you're enjoying it because it really, really helps me out. Now we have a surprising one, Lionel Messi's team of the year. He has 10,000 dislikes, mostly from Ronaldo fans saying he didn't deserve a team of the year card. But because of EA's mistake, I have packed this card, so I was tempted to just give him a pass because it's my challenge. But I want to redeem myself for my last video where I did terribly in the free kick challenge I did with him. So I have to score four out of five free kicks to pass the challenge. If I fail, I am discarding arguably the best player in the entire game who costs five million coins. So I did absolutely terribly last time. I've got to score four out of five in order to pass. I've got to go for the classic curler first. Perfect, that's the way to do it. Much better than last time already. Now we have to score the Traveller. Gonna go over the wall again. Again, absolutely perfect. This is so much better. I don't know what I was doing last time. Then we have the Knuckleball. Which is gonna parrot the goalkeeper's side. What a goal. But that is three out of five already. There's two left, but they're gonna have to be from further out. So we've moved further out now. I'm gonna stick with the knuckleball. I just have to score one of these to pass the challenge. Can Messi do it? Oh no, it's down to the last one. It all comes down to this final free kick. If I miss this, I have to discard the best player in my entire club, a five million coin player. I really don't wanna do that. I'm going for a Traveller. Don't know why, I'm feeling confident about that. Come on Messi, please. Oh, thank God I don't have to discard him. Oh, that was horrible. He's passed the test. Team of the year, Messi. Thank God, that was horrible. So he does, of course, get a thumbs up. On to the next player.
The next card we're going to be testing is Katoto, who has 1,000 dislikes. This is because she is a troll card. Imagine you open a pack, get France, Striker, PSG, and it is an Mbappe. You run to footbin and drop a dislike. So to test her, I'll be taking five shots with her and five shots with Mbappe. If she can beat Mbappe, she'll pass the test. If not, she's getting discarded. Okay, so here we go. We have five shots with Mbappe. We're going to start with a standard finish shot. Easy. That's one goal scored. Now let's go for a Traveller. Mix it up a bit. Oh, the card on that was nice. That's two scored. Power shot next. Three scored. Now we'll go for a chip shot. Four scored. Now we'll go around the keeper. Okay, that's five scored. That would have gone in. But that's five scored. So Katoto has to score every single shot. So I now have to take five shots with Katoto and she has to score every single one. So we're going to start with a finesse shot. Well, we're going to discard Katoto. The penultimate card is Team of the Year Debinia who has 2,300 dislikes. This is because people considered her card to be an overpriced SBC. So for her to pass the challenge, I have to score one insane goal with her in my first game of Division Rivals. I had no plan for this goal, I was just going to mess around with Dabinia's 5 star skills and tricks to play style and almost straight away I had a great chance saved. Oh, I thought that was it already. Now Dabinia is the smallest player in the entire game so I was a little worried she'd keep getting eased off the ball. I had no reason to worry though because after just 13 in game minutes I scored a banger. We got it, decent skill goal with Dabinia, Trickster is such a good playstyle but we got the goal, she's passed the test. But I wasn't done, straight after half time I got on the ball, did a rainbow bounce over the defender and scored an absolute screamer. What a goal, destroyed team of the year Diaz there, that was crazy. And then in the 75th minute, I scored one more crazy goal, cementing the fact that Dabinia has passed the test with flying colours, what a card. Finally, we have Megan Rapinoe with 77,000 dislikes, which is insane by the way. In fact, all her cards combined have 132,000 dislikes on Footbin. Rapinoe has a reputation for being arrogant and rude. For example, in this clip where a boy asks for her autograph, and she signs it while refusing to look at him, which is just a bit weird. She also makes a lot of outlandish statements, including saying that God doesn't exist because she got injured in her final game, which unsurprisingly did not go down well. However, I'm going to focus on the fact that she missed a penalty in the World Cup, which sent the US team home. So her challenge is to simply score a penalty. To make it 1-0. Thanks for watching. Click the video on the screen to see me test the best free kick takers in FC24.